and high hands. No, 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 James, please. No, James. No, no, James, you listen. I don't care how much it costs to do the job. All I want is a job well done. Now, uh, by the way, what about the, the containers? Have they arrived at the Lagos port yet? Goodness gracious. James, what are you talking about? Those three containers are worth over 200 million naira. And you're telling me you can't track them? Look, if those things are not found, I am finished. Do you understand me, James? I am finished. Please, please do. Oh, oh my goodness. Three containers? 200 million naira? This, this must be a joke. Okay, sir. Okay. What did you guys say? Said he's on his way. He should be here. How are you feeling now? Don't worry, sir. Yes, ma'am. She's fine, okay? Nothing to worry about. It's just a minor crisis. She'll be fine soon. Thank God, do So, me will go. Have you informed the husband yet? Yes, sir. Very good. I'm sad. Can I see her? Not now. When the nurses are done with her, you can see her, okay? Samuel, you can go home while I wait for her to come. No. I want to see Madame Mo. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything before my, my mother comes back. Okay. Please, I was informed that my wife was brought here earlier today. Mm -hmm. 
Her name is. Oh, Mercy, you're here. Yes, sir. What happened? She, she just lost well, it. Well, it's okay. I'll handle it. Which way to her ward, please? Okay, sir. Room 011. Go straight. Room by your left. 011 to my right. Okay, uh, Mercy. You don't have to be here. It's okay. I'll handle things. Why don't you just um, go home? That way you um, probably prepare something for her to eat when she gets, she gets home. All right? Thank you. Fine before I left home. What, what happened? You had a drink? Alcohol. God, what is wrong with you? Are you trying to kill yourself? Why would you do that? I need you to do me a favor. I promise you. Please. Okay, fine. I, I won't do it. Just speak. I'm listening to you. To find my daughter for me. What? My daughter. You have a daughter? <sighs> yeah. Uh, darling. <sighs> oh. Why? Do, why are you telling me this now? You. you you have a daughter and you never mentioned it? Frank, I'm sorry, guy. It's part of my, my secret. The story of my past is locked in that secret. Please, Frank. She's the only one I have in this world. Oh, you're talking like you're going to die tomorrow. <laughs> Did the doctor say something to you? <laughs> what did he say to you? Huh? Oh, I hope he did not. Let me see the doctor. I'll be back. Doctor, what did you say to my wife? Uh, what do you mean? What did you say to my wife to make her cry like a child? Talking to someone who's about to die tomorrow. Please sit. Don't ask me to sit down. I think um, your wife understands what she suffered from than you do. She has been to the United States of America for her cancer treatment, and people over there understand this thing more than we do. See, I don't want to go into details uh, because she will not like her discussion as it relates to her sickness. I think you should understand better. That I know that my wife, wife is suffering from lungs and broke your cancer. And if there's any PDD at all, doctor, I request that as the husband that I'm duly informed first. That's my point. All right? Look, I'll have you know that I'm a man who's in love with his wife and I'm not in the position right now to lose that woman. Do you understand me? Sorry, Mr. Frank. There was nothing of sort. And there's any. 
it will not make her cry like a child. Your wife has received better treatment and counsel from abroad because of her condition. If there's not anything making her cry like a child, certainly not related to her illness. I think it's something you can handle. And that is why I demand it for your presence. Uh, one more thing, Mr. Frank. Your wife is suffering from partial stroke. And she will not be able to do some things she normally does for herself. And that's why she needs all the attention from you and love. And you will take it as a point of duty to make sure she stays away from certain food and things you normally do and eat. Because our blood pressure rises up, it will lead to this kind of crisis. And that is not good for our condition now. understand how you feel. Oh, I, I know it's not easy, babe. This kind of marriage. I, I need you to understand. She's my daughter, and both of you are the only people I have in this world. Besides, her name was mentioned in, in my will. Before the marriage. Please. Please, Frank. I need you to find her. Make her your daughter. She needs you as much as you need her. Please, Frank. That we will want a family. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop talking. It's... I will find. I don't have any kind of information. What do I work with? How do I find her? I left her with a couple. With a couple. With uh, uh, did I leave at uh, 68B Sawyer Street, at Chipotle. Uh, the man's name is, uh, is Donald. Tina, yes, I remember. Donald and Tina, please. Find her. It's all right. It's okay, don't walk yourself up. I will find her for you, okay? I'll work with the little information you've given to me. Okay. Sabio! Hold on. Hold on. Where's Mercy? Mercy! Who among you two rushed my wife to the hospital in a public taxi without notifying me? Okay, we put the force. Excuse me? Do I look like I'm joking to you? Huh? I asked you a straight question, young man, and I want answers right now. Who? Among you two put my wife in a public cab 
without thinking to call me first. Oga. Please speak up! Oga, I use that just to save Madame's life, sir. Shut up! Save her life? What do you know about saving lives? Are you Jesus Christ? You both of you better thank your stars and nothing happened to my wife. Else I would have killed both of you with my bare hands. Okay. You shut up! Get out. Will you leave this place? You, it has come to my notice very clearly that you are insensitive to your environment and have absolutely no idea what goes on here. Alright, so go back to your little room, pack your things, and get out of my house. You are fired. What, what if I come back here, just standing there. Easy, darling. Easy. Easy. <sighs> I um I fired her. I couldn't stand her mistakes and excesses, so I, I let her go. Excesses? Oh, I don't understand. Look, Messi has lived with us long enough. She's part of this family and she understands the workings around here. Great. Yeah, she doesn't take her job seriously. So don't worry yourself, all right? I already placed an advert um, through an agent, Madame B, for that position. So in a few days, we'd have Somebody new here. How soon will the person be here? Pretty soon. Or would you rather do her job? Like the cooking and all that? Did you say cooking? Haha! <laughs> yeah, when you talk like that, now you forget that I'm a chef. I've been taking extra classes in cooking, so I just might shock you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. What would you? Ah, uh, speaking of that one, you know, I've been thinking that, um, how about I, um, uh, make you excess? The bald yam, really soft. Like, you like it. It's like you read my mind. I don't read your mind, baby. I know your mind. Because you and I, you're always here, so I know your thoughts. I know what you want at all times. You and your lovely speeches. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, let's not forget, I will be going to Ajegula tomorrow to look for her. Oh. And um, I will. And I don't intend coming back here early, unless of course I find her. Or, you know, get some kind of information that can lead me to her. Okay? Oh. But not to worry, come on, it's okay. I already spoke to the gate man, um, Samuel, to be at your back and call just in case you want something. All right, darling. Sure, why not? Let me just change into something. Lighter, hit the kitchen, then I'll be back. Don't sleep off on me now. I won't. Hmm? See you soon. Oh. 
Good day. Um, Who are you looking for? I'm looking for the owner of this house. Who are you? I am the help from Madame B's restaurant. Oh, now you? I wish you. Madam, how's it from Madame B? Thank you. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You okay? okay. Mm. Yes, man. I hope you will like us and home too. Yes, man. Yes, man. Are you okay? <coughs> so, where can I get water? water. I'm so sorry, man. <coughs> water, please. I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh. Um so I am so, so I hope you're okay now, ma. Are there clothes for me to wash? I could clean the kitchen. I could clean this place. Not yet. Okay. Samuel, please take her to our room to rest, eh? You can come back later. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, ma'am. Please take care of it. I'll, I'll, I'll come down. I'll come very soon. that you pay close attention to your chores and duties in this house. Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. And for starters, I would need you to, um, there's a room immediately after mine. I need you to clean that room tomorrow. Um, put air fresheners, just make it very conducive because we just maybe having an important guest. Do that first thing tomorrow morning. All right. You mm -hmm. do that, report to me for further instructions. Yes. Is this? So you don't think it is time you begin to take your job seriously? Next time it takes you almost forever to open that gate, you will be fired. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. What our attitude to work? Get our things off out of the car. Welcome home.
Frank. Is everything okay? See, this is it. You tricked me and brought me to this place. You want me to go in there to meet the woman that abandoned me for 21 good years? Just calm down. You think this is... Look, I know how hard this is. Okay? But you're already here. You know what they say. No place like home. Right? So please. Trust me. Trust me. Would you take that bag and go inside? Jai! Come on down. I come. She's here, she's here. She's here. Who is here? Your daughter. Eh? Yeah, she's here. Look, I just brought her back now. What if I say she knew I'm coming inside? Ah, why now? Listen to me, Grace. I beg you to please calm down. Right. I know this is a moment you have waited for all your life. And trust me, it is going to prolong her days. Here on earth, if only she can just set her eyes on you, I beg you. Alright. Please. You have to trust me. I will tell you later. Please help me get down. Let me no, help no, me no, go no, up to no, receive. No, no, mommy, please just rest. Let her come and meet you instead. Please. I found your daughter. Oh. Are you around? It's a little stop. If I tell you what happened, you, you would even blame me. You, you, you would understand that it could happen to anybody. It's true. I abandoned you. It, it wasn't intentional. I had nobody. Absolutely nobody. I was just an orphan. I only had an uncle who kept me because, because I was working for them. He met his wife. They molested. I did all kinds of things to me. God, I just... I had no option than, than to hit the streets. You know, in, in the streets, I, I had freedom. I, I, I was my own master. I could do anything I wanted and there was no one to stop me, no one to disturb me. And, and that was what I wanted. Oh, what I felt I wanted. Smoking, drinking. I even did her drugs. Before I knew it, 
I was pregnant. My boyfriend. I thought he loved me. He abandoned me. All my friends. All my friends deserted me. I was alone. I, I, I had no money. I, I had no money to, to eat. I, I had no money to take care of myself. And yet... There was a baby. I didn't know what to do. I just did not know what to do. And then, then there was this thing in me that said to me, Kill this child! Don't let her go through what you're going through. So I decided. I decided to kill you. I, I got my shiny silver knife. And a fateful day. When I lifted up my knife to stab you. Oh my God. I looked into those eyes. And they looked back at me with so much innocence. And I just could not do it. But there was something inside me, something very strong that said, do it! But that voice, that voice was there. He kept saying, do it, do it, do it. So, I turned your face down. And I lifted my knife once again. When I was about to stab you, you screamed! Oh my God, that sound, that sound, I can still hear it. Oh, and I couldn't do it. I just could not. <laughs> the nine months that I carried you, oh my God. The starvation, the anger, the disappointment, the everything. Oh God, I couldn't do it. I just could not do it. And I started thinking, what should I do? What do I do? And I remember. I remember the couple that lived down the street. They had no child of their own. So, so I wrapped you up nicely. I bundled you up. And then I wrote your name. Grace. And I wrote the story of my life. I put it inside that tiny bundle. And then I carried you. I looked into your face one more time. And then I laid you there by the doorstep. I just laid you there. And and I walked away and that, that's what happened. That's what happened. Oh my god. So you actually gave me that name? I named you after myself. Grace. Nick. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. I don't know how you feel. I'm to that joy away from you. So how you love her, cause if deep down you really do. Here's your room. Um, uh, where would you like me to put the box? Inside? No, don't worry, just leave it there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome. Um, you seem to be a very nice person. Thanks for helping me. Oh, it's nothing, thank you. You're a nice person too. What's your name? Ada. Oh. Ada. Yes. You don't seem like a household to me. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've been here in circumstantial. Come. Tell me all about it. <sighs> no, there, there was nothing circumstantial about it. I used to work in a restaurant where your father met me and he asked me to come and work here as a help. You mean Frank hired you? Mm, yes. Oh. oh. All right. Why is this taking so much time? Um, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm sorry. You're here, sir. Nice to have you here. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. The barrister himself. You're welcome. Madam, thank you for coming. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Good to have you here. Um, well, let me officially welcome you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, boy, you all look good, I must say. <laughs> okay. On behalf of... Um, my wife and daughter who would be here in a few minutes. So please, ladies and gentlemen, just make yourselves very comfortable as um, in a few minutes we would have um, something to drink and a little something to nibble on. All right? <laughs> the next time you see me shall be with my beautiful wife.
the good people. You're all welcome. I thank you all for making it to this wonderful location. Uh, an occasion that has been made possible by Almighty God and my husband here. Who has been so supportive that all made it possible for me. I thank God for this wonderful opportunity to correct a wrong I made 21 years ago when I gave up my daughter Grace and Neka to total strangers to bring her up. Unfortunately, I died in a car crash. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God. Amen. <laughs> Enough of the sad stories. Um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the saying that um, to err is human, but to forgive is I want to thank my daughter, Grace Neka finding it in her heart to forgive me. And today, I am proud to introduce to you all my wonderful daughter, beautiful, elegant, sophisticated, intelligent daughter, Grace. Oh well, to that end, I'll um, ask that we make a toast. All right, to long life. Good health, prosperity, and to one individual family. It's a family. Cheers. 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 Cheers, barista. You're welcome, my daughter. Wow. Oh, you're, you're such a lucky girl to have a mother like this. Please just forget everything that has happened in time pass, right? I believe God Almighty has a reason why things happened the way it did. Hmm? Thank God. This is a great reunion. And we thank God for it. Um, Grace, Barrister is here because um, I'm trying to start uh, proceeding and changing my board of directors with a corporate affairs in Abuja. And I'm also trying to change ownership of my assets. Okay, so I am hoping that uh, once all that is done, you and Frank would have go meeting and then sign all the necessary papers. <gasps> Mom! Yes. So soon? 
Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. There's no point waiting, baby. There's no point waiting. And now, Barrister, I ask you once again, are you sure you don't want something to drink or eat? <laughs> I don't know why you keep insisting. I'm just good. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, well, what are, are there any documents you need, like papers mm. or any materials you would need for me mm. to start off this procedure? No, for sure. All right. When uh, we're about to commence the processing, I'll let you know oh, okay. all the necessary documents we need. All right. Yeah, Grace. Tell me about your past life. I would love to hear something about your foster parents. <laughs> Grace? Yes, please. What happened? What did you say to her? She's crying so bitterly. Oh, what did you say to her? I didn't say anything to her. Barrister was just asking her about her foster parents. I guess she still misses them. Um, you know what, Barrister, I would, uh, you know, really appreciate it if we let her settle in. You know, let. I adapt yeah. to her new home for now before we begin to have that kind of talk with her. You need to see her. She's, she's devastated. She's weeping oh. bitterly. Well, can I at least uh, have a word with her? Speak to her. No, no, no. That, that won't be necessary at all. Um, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She, she begs to, to be left alone.
My body. Ada. Ada. Yes, ma'am. Come, oh, take her away and clean her up. What happened? Honey, are you I said, take her away and clean her up. They're asking her what happened. Are you deaf? Oh God, Frank, this one where you they run like this, what thing happen? Ah, uh, not now. Make something no happen. I carry me come. How how you did? Uh, what thing be the thing? Beg that girl where you carry come give us for house. Where they where they work for us? Uh, what thing be her name again? Grace. Eh, uh, Grace. No vex, so I beg. I'm not vex. You get some personal information about that girl. Where she goes to school, where she grew up, her papa, her mama. I just oh God, know. Frank, now what for you? How you think say me I go collect person with me? I don't know where I'm from, come from. So oh. you see that grace, eh? Now born through away for Suru Lere. The man and woman we carry him. Not be them born amo, but she they call them papa and mama. <laughs> Daddy, welcome. I'm so sorry, I was in the bathroom, I was having my bath. Come back here. Go to the car, bring those bags to me. Um, not a piece, can I just no, make it? Just now. Take them to my room. I said, take them to my room.
Mm. How was work today? Mm -hmm. It's usual stress and all that. I know, I know. Seriously, I'm very famished. Baby girl, take her back to the room. Oh, uh, uh, Grace. Grace? Honey, uh, why don't you freshen up while the food gets ready, okay? Grace, Are go you... and set the table. Huh? What happened? Oh, but she's okay. Come on, come on, come on, freshen up. Grace, set the table. Food is ready, I've set the table. Baby, are you not going to dine with us? Lost my appetite, just for you and Donald. Donald? Oh, come on, darling. She will eat at her time. After all, she's the one that prepared the meal. Do you know if she's suffering from the effect of the food? <laughs> this is not funny. Seriously? Did you notice anything about Grace? Notice something like what? She didn't call me mom the way she used to. And I heard her call you by your name. What is going on, Donald? Oh, does that mean anything? See, stop bothering your head with unnecessary issues. And leave Grace alone to live her life. She seems not to be the good man. I know she will come out of it and be herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop bothering your head. The food is getting cold. Let's go and eat. I pray uh, so. Oh my goodness. I really pray so. Okay, what is wrong with you? You always be crying. Hmm? You look so worried and dejected. You alright? Okay. Yeah. Tell me, why did you refuse to eat the food you cooked and served yourself? I lost appetite. You didn't even call me mommy the way you used to. Secondly, I heard you call your father by his first name. So now what is going on? What is wrong with you? You know mommy like the truth. Will you tell her the truth? Will you? Mommy, I know you like the truth. Mm -hmm. So please, can you tell me the truth? The truth? Yeah. Oh. Donald said, Dad said, he said I should ask you what the meaning of Breaking the rock is. What? You mean your father actually said that? Mom. <laughs> Don't worry. Let me go and check up something. I will be right back. Okay? Just relax. God. What is happening to me? Grace. Grace. You should have used this opportunity to let the cat out of the bag. Yes! Oh God. I can't continue to keep this secret and die in silence. Come on, Grace. Say it and be free. Maybe she will believe you, or maybe she will not. But at least you'll be free at last.
understood that I'm so disappointed at you. I felt so betrayed. Is this your own style of blackmail or what? Now, what did you say to Grace? What did you say to her? Honey, what kind of question is this? You shameless man! You sent Grace to come and ask me what breaking the rock means? Oh, just that? What did you just say? Just that? Oh my god! So, Donald! Who went behind me and broke the secret you swore on your honor to keep forever? How do you want Grace to see me? How do you want Grace to see me, oh my God? Do uh, that. Breaking the rock is your company's secret code. You taught me the use of that word. Now you sent a girl with no child for the past 24 years to come and ask me the meaning of that. My God. Donald, I know what you indirectly asking me to do. I know it. Listen, I, I don't see anything in the truth. After all, the Bible said in John chapter 8, verse 32, that you shall know the truth. And the truth will you set you shut free. that your stupid thinking mouth, Donald. If I shut it for you, Donald, what truth are you talking about, Donald? Besides, when do you start reading the scriptures? This is a cheap black man. You just want to ridicule me because of my situation. But I promise you one thing, Donald. My God will judge you. He will. Come on, Fatal. I have waited for 21 whole years, yet nothing happened. I did not marry another wife. Look at me. Just look at me. I'm not getting any younger. Haven't I waited enough? Huh? Haven't I waited enough? 21 whole years is not 21 days. Not even 21 months. Now, let me ask you, how many men do you think will do that for their wives? Now, answer me. How many men? Mr. Donald, so you are not truly my father. No, Is that why you took advantage of me? Is that why you defiled the girl you call your own daughter and took her virginity? Is that why? What? Why? Right? Hey, 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 don't just take it. Jesus! Hold it, hold it. Donald! Listen, this is our truth. Donald, you are cause. My God will punish you. My God will frustrate you. The pain you made me feel, my God will punish you. My God will punish you. My God will punish you. My God will punish your entire generation. My God will punish you. Who are my parents? Who is this? Who is my mother? Who is my father? And where today? Girl, it's just take care of it. Grace. 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 What are you doing here? Um, I'm just enjoying the fresh air. Come on, let's go inside, okay? Hmm? Jane, I'm fine. No, you're not. I know something is wrong for you to have left through Larry by that time. So lucky, without your parents' consent. What if you wake up one day 
and suddenly realize that the people you call dad and mom are not truly your parents. Why did you say that? That's unimaginable. Why would you even think about such? Jane, it's not an imagination. It's what's happening to your friend. Jesus. Wait, wait. Are you trying to tell me that you're supposed parents and not actually your biological parents? Jeez. Um, please, if they call you, can you help me tell them that I'm not here? Please. I'm sorry, Jane. They already know. What? What am I supposed to do? Mom, Mom got suspicious and curious yesterday and called them to know why you left the house without your consent. I really have to leave here now. It's not safe for me. You, you don't have to worry. Trust me, they're not coming for you now because I overheard her telling them that they should allow you to stay with us for a while. See, trust. <laughs> trust is not a word that I believe in so much anymore. I trusted my parents and see where it landed me. Please. See, listen, they're not coming for you. Trust me. Excuse me, ma. Now nah, waiting. I be your change no complete. Um, my change is complete. It's just um, I wanted to find out if you can employ me here. Let me help you. I noticed that you don't have any help or assistance. So I don't know if you can employ me. You, make me I employ you. Yes, sir. Ha. I need somebody too, too, but not be person like you. Ha. How I go employ you? I'm not going to pay you now. If madam, it's not about the money. I just need something to distract me for the time being, you know, while I sort myself out. I could even help you to develop your business. I will bring better ideas on how to run this restaurant. I just need something to do for the time being. So, idea to improve my business. Yes. And make we go now. Come. Hello. Ah, Oga Frank. <laughs> now you. Uh, I go send the girl tomorrow morning. Now, very good girl. Oh. Ah, you and your wife will now go enjoy her well, well. The girl, she's not the way that girl knows Abby. She did surprise me. Ah, now because now you, oh, I not fit give her out like this to anybody. I beg, make you take care of the girl for me. Oh. Take care. Oh. Uh, Okay, first thing tomorrow morning when I go see him. Okay, bye bye, Oga Frank. That man that was telling you about, he's the one that just called. Oh, okay. Eh, Mr. Frank. Oh, okay. Eh, see, they nice, eh? Husband and wife. And they get money well, wow. well. If you help them well, then go help you. Thank you very much. So you will leave tomorrow you. early morning. No problem, my thank I go you. Miss you. <laughs> I go miss you. Ha! Ah! Okay, Frank, what's your happen? That's my name, sir. Grace. You are aware that's your madam's name. And our daughter's name. So you see, who are you? Oh, yeah. Henceforth. Henceforth! Me in this house. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. What you're now? telling me right now is true. Uh, uh, okay, oh, Frank, now correct. Sir. Okay, Frank. Okay, Frank. You. You hear? Frank, what's the problem? 
She is the problem. Ada is the problem. Oh. So you don't even bother to tell her your real name. Huh? Are you at her? Um, yes, but... What, what, do you, what do you have to say? Will you shut up? What? What? But tell me, what do you have to say for yourself? Huh? You know what, darling? I am really, really sorry. This is all my fault. Right? I should have asked questions, I should have made proper investigations before hiring this thief. So my fault. I'm really sorry. But you know, at some point my, my, my body began to twitch. I, I became really, really uncomfortable. And thank God I obeyed my God given instincts and I started asking questions. You know, background check, getting to know who this who this criminal is. And as I speak with you right now, I am sucked to my bone marrows. The kind of revelations that I'll have to deal with. This girl is a spy. For some androgy gang in the vicinity, she is nothing but a bloody thief and an imposter. That's what she is. It's not true, mommy. Please, it's not Will true. Will you shut that little mouth of yours and stop calling her mom? <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm sorry. I have to take this idiot out of this place. Get up. Get up! No, 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 it's okay. Hold on. I think it's better I call my barrister friend. Let him be the one to take her away. No. I mean, this is a serious matter. No, 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 no. So that, look, it's not necessary, all right? He needs to come here and, uh, um, and arrest so that, her. This no, is a look, serious... Look, look, no, 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 Frank. Look, darling, you have me here. I can handle the girl. Okay, you don't have to pull that man off his schedule. For what? What for? Frank, you don't understand. These people understand such situations better than we do. Let me call him, please. Hold on. He's already on the line. Hello? Hello? Yeah, barrister, I need you to come over to my house immediately. Please come along with two policemen. There's a criminal you need to arrest. Yes, it's a matter of urgency, please. I can't believe I've been harboring a criminal. An imposter living in my house? Mommy, I don't know what he's talking about. I did not do it, please. I don't know what he's talking about, Mommy. You shut up! <laughs> Can I just... Kick the thing out of this house. No, 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 baby, just wait. No, 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 let her go. What are... no, no, don't worry. The barrister will do it. She will be dealt with. She must be dealt with. Leave me alone. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> oh. Thank God, thank God, Barrister. Thank God you're here on time. Barrister, I need you to arrest that criminal over there. Um, Me? No. Ha. No, 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 Barrister. That, that, that's, this is the thief. This is the imposter. This is the spy. No. no. She is the thief, the imposter, and the spy. Arrest her. Well. Daniel, what are you talking about? Well, I am not in any way surprised at all what is happening here today Frank I've always asked my friend and my clients here what an interest a handsome young man who have in her if not her money I'm going to have you speak to me that way barrister but thank God you just learned that that's today you know what Frank you are just a lazy criminal so lazy that you couldn't even consider the modern day advanced technology as one of your loopholes in those of cheap criminal plans. Just a die, just a die of a number in my smartphone. It searches the internet and get me nasty Lohos Davis. Oh data. Frank. Yeah. Did you really say your wife is sick? Do you actually say your wife is sick? Yeah, she is sick. As a matter of fact, she was even rushed to the hospital. You're actually telling me that you're marrying her? I thought you guys were just doing the sugar mommy thingy, you know? <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> How do you see yourself? Honestly, I'm no longer a child. If you want to do something, just do it. 
All right. I met her at light and then we got married three years ago. When the cut and then as a speak, she's my legally married wife. Bad boy. I, I know you. I know you wouldn't venture into anything that is not profitable. Hmm. I heard that woman is a very rich woman. Hmm. Maybe that's why you even married her. I know you. Bad boy. Bob, I'll punch you. I'm not joking. Look, this is my private affair. It's my fault. My bad. <laughs> Hello, married man. Look at that girl. She's a waitress. No, I don't. Is she? She's new. No, she's got to be new because I suppose not. A lot of people have their eyes on that girl. If you really need her, just write your number on a piece of paper. When you go pay for the things, you tip it in. If she's interested, she'll probably give you a call. Ha! You mean the staff will be without fear. But make sure you tip her. It comes in handy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, he hello, hi. Um, one second, please. Um, how much is my bill? One minute, sir. How much is my bill? Two thousand five hundred, sir. Sorry, how much again? Two thousand five hundred. There you go, darling. You, you look like a million dollar beer. No, sir, I said two five. I know it's okay, you can keep the change. Dollar beer. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. My name is Frank. What's your name? Nancy. You are stunning. Thanks. So what's beautiful Nancy doing about? Well, seven people are trying to meet my needs. It's better than prostituting, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's just that I think you don't, um, you know, fit in here. Maybe you should think of um, getting yourself a better offer. I'm just saying. Like being an actress. You see, Nancy is a theater art graduate and an aspiring actress who came to Lagos to pursue an acting career. But I don't have the link yet, so I'm doing this in the meantime. An actress? Mm -hmm. See, that makes it a lot easier. Quite interesting, I must say. Um, okay. Great. So you said you had an offer for me. What is it about? <laughs> um, here. Now that's a hundred thousand naira. I believe that should be able to take care of your salary for two months. Maybe I'll have you start hotel tomorrow afternoon, 12 noon. Please be prompt. From 007. So we can talk. Okay. Thank you. If you want. Oh, not to worry, I'll be fine. Sure. My wife is a multimillionaire. Has assets worth more than five hundred million naira. That's if I am not. In any way mistaken, 
she has cancer. And her health has deteriorated and everybody is waiting for her to die. Myself inclusive. So that when that happens, I will inherit all her properties, given the fact that as things stand, that I'm the only beneficiary. Take everything she's ever worked for. Since I'm obviously the only beneficiary. Until one day she woke up and looked me in the face and told me that she has a daughter somewhere. That she left with some strangers 22 years ago. And that she would like me to find her. <laughs> That's where you're coming, Dad. But what exactly do you want me to do? You are the daughter. I have found you. Henceforth, you are Grace Necker. You live at 68B, Isomaya Street. Ajingola and this family that she abandoned you with 22 years ago. Mr. and Mrs. Francis. Once again, you cease to be Nazi. Now as an actress, I need not remind you how to react when you see a woman who abandoned you and left you with some strangers for 22 years now, do I? I don't think so. Nancy, this is one time you'd have to prove yourself an actress and win yourself an Oscar. Now, every other information that you might need to make this real, you would have to dig up. But if you do this right, if you get this right, you will be 10 million naira richer. Think about this. Let the games begin. Are you ready? Are you sure? Yes, I am. Give me tears. Oh, come on. It's not that easy. You have to give me some time. <laughs> Are you sure you can do this? <laughs> I can do it. You're sure? Can you imagine? That lawyer asked me to tell him about my foster parents and my experiences. What? What are you saying? What, what did you say? What did you say to him? I just pretended to be upset and I started crying and I just walked out. Is that all? Frank! Frank! What? I don't know what to do. Ah, boy. Oh. You know what? You remember what I, I, I told you about crying, right? You were crying. Stay in that act. Just continue crying. I'll handle it. Right? It's quite unfortunate. You are in for it, and I promise you, you are going to dance the music. You're going to dance the music. The music of the law. 
Frank, I, I can't believe you can be this heartless. You want to kill me and, and, and take over everything I have? Darling, you know that's not true. She's lying to you. Look, how can I possibly conceive a thing like that? She never told me anything. I found out myself.
Mommy, good morning. I'm sorry to wake you up. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. I'm fine, thank you. Do you need help? Oh no, I'm fine. Oh. Um, mommy, I hope um, it's okay for me to call you, mommy. You funny little child. Of course, it's okay to call me, mommy. I am your mommy. <laughs> um, it's time for you to have your bath. I've made your breakfast and I don't want it to get cold. Really? Yes. Way. You've not even told me your name yet. Grayson Becker. Grayson Becker. Yes. What a coincidence. That is also my daughter's name. Really? Yes, and she's about your age. Wow. <laughs> I really like to meet her. She'll be home someday. My father has got to bring her back. Really? Oh, that's nice. Mm. Mommy, you have to get ready soon. Grace? Yes, Mom. Why are you doing house help job? I mean, what about your parents? I... I, I really don't know my real parents. The people I grew up with, I thought with my parents, I... Realize you're not my parents. I was on the verge of looking for them when this job came up. Really? And now, these strangers or whatever they are to you, what are their names and where do they stay? Justina and Donald Francis. We live so So your names are. How did you know? Oh, I was just guessing. I mean, you said your names are uh, Grace and Nick, and obviously, you know, whatever parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Francis, and if you just put one and two together, you know. Okay, well, um, you need to have your bath now. Okay, I've heard you. Just give me five minutes to say my prayers, okay? Alright? Okay, I'll come back in five minutes. In fact, do I look like a fool to you? I can't believe it. I cannot believe you're a devil in disguise. You wanted to kill a mother and her daughter? And take over my inheritance? God. I can't believe this. And you know, I, I really, I really cared about you. I would have given you everything for me. It's so stupid. God, I can't believe it. Frank, you are the spy, the thief, and the imposter, just like you said. You didn't even bother to check, ask for my daughter's complexion before you went out and hired this fair-complexioned criminal. Get them out of here! Keep Get them Keep out! out. Move. Move him out. Uh, one minute, one, one, one minute, Frank. Before you leave, Move. please take that, that stupid picture of yours, that picture frame that you left there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Out! And everything. Get out. And the rest of your clothes, I will send you in jail or wherever you end up in. <laughs> Grace. Grace. Come on, Grace. So you are actually my mother. Please come to your mom. <laughs> Baby. She is your mother. Your biological mother. Mommy! <laughs> How did you find her? So you knew this 
place and you never told me about it. I'm so sorry. And you allowed your husband to take advantage of me. <laughs> it's okay, Grace. No, no, baby, listen. I, I took a number from your phone and I called her and invited her to come. I know you're hurting. She, she told me everything that happened. <laughs> It's okay, baby. It's all right.